hey guys what's up welcome to another rma fire tutorial and on this special class let's look into how to create this <clears throat> really cool explosive explosive liquid technique so let's have a quick look at what we're going to be creating here so i want to show you guys a few different techniques that we can get some liquid to basically react to some of some colliders that we're gonna hit the liquid with but only kind of receive the effect on certain areas so that not the entire piece of geometry explodes okay so let's just take a look at how we can go about creating this and and yeah so let's dive directly into houdini so the first thing that i would like to do is import a piece of geometry so this piece of geometry um it's pretty heavy it is a download from a really cool website that i will show you guys where it is it's called scan the world so if you go in here on my mega factory scan the world and we go into full collection we're gonna be able to check out a bunch of models that you can download and apply this effect to okay so i've reversed the normals and cached it because sometimes when you import the geometry it comes in like this comes totally messed up and as you can see the geometry is uh, not the right color so if we add a reverse it automatically becomes the color that we want it to be uh, the, meaning the normals are facing the right direction and then I just cached it so that it can load a little faster file cache for those of you who don't know how this works we don't want this to be time dependent and we want this to be explicit and I'll do $OS slash $OS dot BGEO dot SC this is gonna create a folder uh, with the name geometry and with the name geometry as the BGEO object okay so after doing that I drop down a transform and I transform this if I hit space F it'll take me directly to it I transformed that to be roughly in the x in, in the zero axis but how do i know 0 0.01 because since we're going to be working with liquids we want to work with a decent sized piece so i usually just drop down a box and a box is a meter by a meter therefore we're working with a meter big uh torso which is pretty big but usually a meter is kind of good for working with this with what we're gonna be doing here nothing too crazy it works completely fine the second thing that I'll be doing is creating a rose so I have a rose model I brought it in and it comes in like this so like it's got a bunch of unnecessary stuff that I'm deleting and I'm basically just left with this rose and what I'm doing is merging it to the actual geometry. So if I come here to this camera and if I select one of this uh, transforms and I hit enter, you'll see that I get this thing here. So if I'm just dropping down a transform, connecting it to my, to my uh, rows, setting move centroid to origin so that I can have control over the origin of the of the piece and just moving it around and changing the size till I find a composition that I am happy with so that is basically um, how we how I set up the base composition of what we're gonna be turning into liquid okay so moving forward the next step is that we want to convert what our geometry into points so i am basically i'm creating a scatter so if we create it from scratch it's basically just typing down scatter connecting this here and on the scatter we're gonna increase the amount of points 
and remove this maximum amount because we're gonna go quite high to get a lot of detail in here so something like this even higher something like this so this is starting to give me some something closer to what I want I'm gonna connect this here and what I'll do is I'm going to drop down a color node and I want it to be black and on the other side I am going to create this tubes so it's just a simple tube a transform and I'm animating it to hit the geometry in certain areas so these are gonna be the we're just gonna do one together so that you guys see how I'm doing it is just a transform connected to the geometry moving the centroid to the origin let's just connect this to our geometry so that we can see what it's doing and it's just like positioning it in areas that I want the geometry to be deformed so I started off doing some stuff like okay let's put it here and let's hit alt on the keyboard and select the translate and tr rotate and I'm moving it something kind of like that and then hitting both again and that means that I have a keyframe from one end to the other so that's basically just what I did a few times but like scaling it in different sizes and positioning it on different areas you guys will have the project file and you can dissect what I did but nothing nothing fancy literally just the same thing uh, on, a, on a few of them I did a few extra keyframes because I wanted it to like kind of come in like that and then and then maybe go up this way and then add another keyframe hitting alt on the keyboard and then that means that we can have like different movements of this geometry affecting our points let me get rid of this okay so now the magic happens where we have the animated geometry that we're dropping down a color node and making them red literally just doing color connecting this here and making our geometry red which is one and zero zero and then what I want to do is transfer the color from these things onto our geometry so we do that using an attribute transfer let's do that attribute transfer so we want to connect the red on the left input and the geometry on the left input actually the red on the right input and the geometry on the right input so boom it becomes completely red but that's not what we want we want to turn off the primitives on the points select color and reduce the distance of effect and then here you can play with the blend or you can just do it like just a little bit and if we scrub you will see that the the geometry is you know transferring the color and what we want to do is if I were to sketch it out is we have this in, in we have this like pieces of geometry that will be our colliders so these colliders are going to make the liquid active and then the red is gonna tell Houdini yes I can become active and the black since it's always black at this moment is gonna is not gonna move so it's basically unactive but it's still reactive meaning that it's not gonna move but if it gets touched it's still it's still you know it'll still move so I dialed it in here and this is the threshold that I ended up with um, and on this group expression I am basically putting everything that is red into this group so you can do that using a group expression and telling the group expression that you want it affecting the points and then you can give this any name that you want 
and then here's where you do the group expression where we want to do um, at cd color dot r because it's red less than 8.1 please put it in this group so Houdini automatically point puts all of the points in this group as an example if we drop down a delete after the group tell the delete to delete points and we select the active force it's gonna delete those points so see and it's gonna delete them based on where um, the infection is taking place really cool stuff so last I drop down an attribute delete and I tell that Houdini please delete the color because I don't really need that anymore the color is already on the group and it's distracting to see it and I was just adding this merge here just for the sake of visualization but what we want to do is we want to drop down a null so null and we, we want to tell it okay this is my out collider and this is my out source because the source being the color the the liquid and the collider being the things that are going to collide with it and then if you hit c on your viewport you will see that you can actually paint your nodes so you can give them any color and i like to paint red the nodes that i'm gonna um, use somewhere else in my networks and therefore in this case i made those red because those are gonna be the the things that we bring into dubs all right guys i hope you guys like this tutorial and i'll be back with more